Class is in session as we talk about the math behind trophy offers, and let's just say you're going to want to pay more attention than this last attacker did. Greetings fellow Clashers and thank you so much for stopping by Clash of Clans Attacks where today, yes, we are breaking down trophy offers, talking a little bit about the math behind trophy offers and uh, why we are seeing such big and such small offers. And we're going to take a look at a defensive replay by Austin of Lost Phoenix against that attacker there. At the time, Austin right around 4,200 trophies and this attacker around 4,800. 800 trophies, so nearly a 600 trophy differential between the two players. Now obviously there is some sort of mathematical equation that Supercell uses that takes the attacking trophies and the defending trophies and comes up with that risk reward that we see whenever we're on the attack, but I am no Alan Turing so we're not going to get into that and try to decode that, but rather what I'm going to do here is list a few offers that I've seen that some other players have seen and we can see it is a sliding scale. Now, of course, the most trophies you will ever see in an offer is 59. That is the absolute ceiling, and that is usually from a difference of 400 or more trophies. 59 for a three-star win, and you lose one if you lose. And you can see as it goes down from here, 46 trophy offer, eight for a loss at about plus 200, the defender having 200 more than the attacker. And just about even, you'll get offered 30 trophies for a three-star win and 20 for the loss. And then as it drops down, you can see eventually we'll get all the way down to three trophies for a win, 37 for a loss when that differential becomes about 400 or more. And the absolute most trophies you can ever lose on a failed attack, 39 covering the opposite end of the scale. Now a couple of quick footnotes to that list, of course it doesn't include every single possible offer. Those numbers can vary by about plus or minus three trophies. And also a win of zero or a defensive loss of zero is possible if the trophy difference is great enough. And occasionally we will see where an attacker wins more or less trophies than the defender loses on an attack at lower trophy levels. And this attack against Austin wraps up and you can see the attacker walks away with a two Two star victory and just one trophy being nearly 600 trophies ahead. Now let's take another example here. Here I am, 4,542 trophies, and here is Grim Reaper at 4,034 trophies from the clan Mega USA 4. And here is the trophy offer for attacking Grim Reaper. A differential of 508 trophies means that I get three trophies for a three star win or I lose 37. No way I'm taking that offer. But here is an attacker that definitely did take the offer, a 24 trophy offer against Sir Steve of Lost Phoenix. And that is a town hall on the outside. Sir Steve hoping for the snipe, but obviously doesn't look like it's going to happen. But as we watch this attack get underway, notice the way the jump spells are far apart. We've got wizards at the top, clan castle at the bottom, golems moving in from both sides. And now here it comes. Queen at the top, king at the bottom. This is typical of how I would attack a snipe town hall base, trying to just get in and blanket one side of the base, try to take 50% and get out of the way after I've sniped off that town hall. But as we look at the attacker's troops, there are no troops remaining to deploy on the battlefield. There is the last jump spell, the last raid spell goes down. And as we take a look at this attacking force moving in towards the center, perhaps it's right about here that this attacker gets that sinking feeling and realizes there's no town hall in the center. Either that or he's forgotten to save just a couple of troops at the bottom of your screen. There it is, untouched, unscathed, unharmed. The town hall is going to remain. This attack is going to wind up with a big 55 or more percent victory, an easy star for percentage. But as the Archer Queen is the last unit to fall, we see that the Town Hall is going to stay standing and that is going to cost this attacker eight additional trophies. So a lucky defense for Sir Steve from Lost Phoenix. And I hope you guys enjoyed that breakdown of trophy offers. I was getting that question a lot in the comments, so I thought I would cover it. Please let me know if there's something else you guys would like me to discuss. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. Like, comment, and subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks.
Gun gone. Is it over? I fell asleep. I never was good at paying attention in skill.